Would you kindly? Would you kindly get this? Would you kindly find that? Would you kindly find that? Would you kindly find that? Would you kindly get this? Oh my god. I I'm gonna be 100% honest, people. I don't even understand how anybody is excited for Trash Stranding. Because that's exactly what this game is. Is, is it even a game? Are we sure it's not a movie? This game looks so silly, so stupid, and so ridiculous, I don't even understand, again, how people are excited about this. There's like some cult of social reject clowns that are in this man Kojima, who is a one-trick pony, who is the most overrated developer in the history of gaming, who makes nothing but convoluted movies that have garbage-ass gameplay, and yet here we go. We have a game that nobody knows nothing about, that we finally get to know something about, three trailers in, where we have to read a video synopsis, an expose, on what the hell the goddamn trailer was, because the trailers have not properly conveyed to everybody what the game is, and yet, this game gets praised. This is like going on a blind date with a special needs person. And I'm not trying to make fun of special needs people, but this game looks special. It definitely does. You have a guy walking out there looking like he's carrying a whole Amazon package delivery truck on his back. How he's crouching and his knees aren't broken in 50 places like mine, I don't know. And yet, here we go. He's trying to duck and crouch in a tall ass field with a mountain of packages and a backpack on his back like nobody would see his inconspicuous looking ass in a tall field of grass with his big ass backpack not to mention he's trying to fist fight people with a baby in front of him with a transsexual womb for a transsexual woman i don't know what the hell is going on in this game you got dudes in hazmat suits chasing a man around in a field with a giant backpack and him throwing hands while they're trying to hit him with stupid ass light poles when they could easily have just pulled out a gun and capped him right away I don't know what you guys see in any of these Kojima games, in any of these Metal Gear games, outside of Revolver Ocelot, who is the only redeeming part of the entire Metal Gear franchise, in my opinion. So, you know, y'all can go brag about how many views the trailer has had, because you're all going to watch it 30 times, you probably have it on repeat and loop, and how you guys are all going to be finessed into being transsexual men, buying a pregnant baby in a jar for a 200, 100, 300, however much dollars, however much money that stupid collector's edition is. This is like going on a blind date where you don't even know if the girl craps her pants or not. This is absolutely ridiculous. This is by far one of the most ridiculous fandoms out in gaming. Second only to probably like Kingdom Hearts, Sonic, Gran Turismo back in the day, Xbox Social Rejects, Nintendo Fanatics. This is up there. This is up there. Again, my idea of a fun game is not running through a tall field of grass ducking with the whole Amazon delivery truck on me while I'm trying to fight people with punches and kicks and suitcases when they're trying to hit me with lightning sticks when they could easily just pull out a gun and shoot me. Hey, if it's up your alley, by all means. But when you have people saying that God of War is garbage and this game looks appealing, huh? I'm not even a big God of War fan. And I'm not even, I'm definitely not even a big Sony fan when it comes to Sony's own in-house games, but you just look ridiculous, you just look crazy, you just look like you're reaching out for anything different just for the sake of being different.